Hello children. So let us try to learn how our basic and very important organ heart actually functions. So it seems a bit complex but it is not that complex. And we will learn it together step by step. First of all we should know what is one cardiac cycle or what is a cardiac cycle. So the period of time that begins with now pay attention with the contraction of atria that means both the atrium and ends with ventricular relaxation is known as cardiac cycle and children a lot happens between contraction of atria and relaxation of ventricles and whenever the atria contract both of them contract together or relax together whenever the ventricles contract together or relax together that is also a simultaneous process so the period of contraction that the heart undergoes while it pumps the blood into circulation is called systole so the contraction phase is systolic and the relaxation is diastolic now we have to understand how this happens in a stepwise manner so that it doesn't feel so complex anymore what is the first step children the upper two chambers which are atria left atrium and right atrium relax together and the blood is poured into them so who is carrying the blood in each atria well left atrium receives oxygenated blood from pulmonary veins right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from superior and inferior vena cava and this happens at the same time because both of them have relaxed together then both the atria will contract together that is at the same time and they have to send the blood that they received to the respective ventricles by respective i mean the left atrium will send the blood to left ventricle right atrium will send the blood to right ventricle now see what else is happening while the atria are contracting exactly at that moment both the ventricles relax because once they relax only then they can receive the blood so relaxing of ventricles is actually preparing them for receiving the blood now they have received the blood which has come from respective atria now we also need to have some kind of checks and guards so that the blood does not flow back into the atrium so between the left atrium and the left ventricle a bicuspid valve is present bicuspid valve is also known as mitral valve so on the left side we have bicuspid valve and similarly on the right side that is between right atrium and right ventricle we have tricuspid valve and that's how when the ventricles are contracting to send the blood throughout the body the blood will not go back into the atrium because these valves become closed now the atria uh, sorry ventricles have received the blood what are they supposed to do now close both the valves and prepare themselves for sending the blood forward and in the last step what happens both the ventricles will have to contract now and at the same time but left ventricle will be carrying oxygenated blood and it will be pumped through the aorta now aorta divides and further divides into a number of arteries which take oxygenated blood throughout the body and the contraction of right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood through pulmonary arteries and they take it to the lungs for reoxygenation these steps constitute one complete cardiac cycle and this cycle continues because we know that cardiac muscles never fatigue and that's how heart is that one organ which never stops beating as long as the organism lives now let us try to summarize it 
in the diagrammatic manner. So what is happening on the left side? Well, blood is coming from the lungs through pulmonary veins entering left atrium. Now the mitral valve or bicuspid valve opens, sends the blood in the left ventricle. Left ventricle contracts and sends the blood through aortic valve and then to the aorta. Aorta will take that oxygenated blood all over the body. Similarly and at the same time the right atrium is receiving blood from superior and inferior vena cavi. Then the tricuspid valve will open. It will send the deoxygenated blood in right ventricle. Right ventricle. Then right ventricle will send this blood by opening the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary arteries will take this deoxygenated blood to the lungs for further oxygenation and then again this cycle continues. So this is children one cardiac cycle. Now let us summarize a few more facts. How many chambers are there in the human heart or we should say birds or mammalian heart? We have four chambers. What are those? Left atrium, right atrium known as LARA and left and right ventricles LVRV. What are the checks and controls here to prevent the backflow of blood? Well, we have walls and the speciality of walls is that they allow blood flow in one direction only. And that's how whenever the blood tries to go back into the direction where it should not go, they will prevent that backflow. So let us see which valve is present where. So between left atrium and left ventricle, bicuspid or mitral valve is present. Between right atrium and right ventricle, tricuspid valve is present. So, so far we were talking about the valves present between two chambers of the heart. Okay. Now we are going to talk about walls which are present between one chamber and major vessel, major blood vessels. So between left ventricle and aorta there is semilunar valve and between right ventricle and pulmonary artery another semilunar valve is present. So this is how the heart functions. This is all about the basic functioning of heart. I hope this was helpful children. If you have any more doubts, please ask me.